Hey, T Major's in studio. Oh my gosh, this guy makes us all feel bad. You can I work feel out the pressure. You can work out ten times a day. Never gonna happen. And feel bad when T Major, the founder of T Major <laughs> Fitness, T Major.com, uh, comes in the studio. You know, the military he's not a military guy, but the military hires him to train wow. the military. Yeah. How did you get that gig, by the way? Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, you know, I was home over Christmas break and my aunt was a recruiter for a contracting company. Uh -huh. And uh, she told me that there was all different sorts of professions over there. Yeah. And I was looking to use my business degree to head over. And she said, well, why don't you go over and train? In a gym. I said, so you yeah. went when you go over. Where'd you go over to? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, my first trip. Foreign country or like? It was. Off. It was Iraq. I spent nine months in well, Iraq. He went to Iraq to train the military. I have a cool story for you if you have yeah. time. Yes, <clears> you have time. <clears throat> so my very first night. So we stopped in Kuwait flying over. Yeah, and we sure. took a C-135, which is that one of those huge yeah, airplanes like you see. the big Bertha thing. The big yeah. Bertha ones, yeah, right? right? With yeah. the cargo in nets it. inside. Yeah. Nothing in it. Yeah. Just cargo you just hang area. just for four hours. I have a bulletproof vest on and a helmet on next to somebody who's going to be working in the dining facility. Oh, you know, and we're wow. strapped in like soldiers yeah. flying to Iraq. Wow. Yeah. So we fly into Baghdad. And that very first night, I get yeah. in around 11. 30 or so we go through security checks and we end up just kind of just hanging around for a bit yeah. hitting the bars yeah and then they say uh, <laughs> the bars and they say great. hey you know we have something called midnight chow the dining facility opens around midnight if you want to go grab some food then you can go do that and i'm starving i yeah. eat every three hours you yeah. Know? yeah so i raise my hand i'm like okay i'm down for that so i pile on the bus with maybe 12 other people and yeah. we're, we're hanging out we're sitting there bus driver gets on and he says hey uh we have two choices. We can drive around, you can grab food, we can jump back on the bus, we can bring you back to your living quarters, or you guys can hang out there for 35 minutes or so, and then I'll swing back around and grab you. What do you guys want to do? Well, nobody said anything, you know, and I'm starving. My stomach is, and I'm looking at the clock, and it's 11.59, I'm like, the place is opening in one minute. So I raise my hand. I yeah. say, I want to just grab and come back. You yeah. know, because this is the only area right now I'm familiar right. with, right? right. <laughs> I'm like, right. I want to come back here right. with safety where everybody right. knows what they're doing. Yeah. As I say that, what's something that's called a C-RAM starts whirring up. Yeah, what's a C-RAM? A C-RAM is this humongous, like, battle gun that they usually have on ships. Uh -huh. And it shoots 100 bullets a second. Nice. Right, so this thing. So why do they turn that on? They, for example, is it yeah. on the bus? Is, does the driver have on? What is this it? is on base, so yeah. they turn this on because the alarm goes off. Yeah. Warp, warp, uh -huh. warp. Incoming, incoming. This incoming. is when you. This is your first five minutes in Kuwait. Can I get my, my first, mac and my cheese? My first five minutes. No. <laughs> my first five minutes. <laughs> Mortar round comes in base. Boom, boom, boom. Things oh, start blowing oh. up. C rams going off. This is shooting first. bullets. Yeah, and I'm sitting on a bus just like, you know. <laughs> no longer hungry, I'm assuming. Yeah, no longer Please hungry. Please pull to the forward window to take your order. Yeah, yeah, completely empty at this point, right? Wow, Nothing. no kidding. Wow. Yeah. So that was your first experience. Yeah, after that, about half the people I flew in with left. Oh, next, yeah. The next day. I'm out of here. Left. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is not what I signed up for. I said, yeah, this yeah. is what you signed up for. Yeah, right. You came, yeah, you you came to war. Yeah. So, so you, uh, okay, Ooh, so crap. so the Navy, uh, did the Navy really just open a, a, a $42 million Yesterday. facility? Yesterday. Uh, North Island in San Diego. We're broadcast out of San Diego. I know you might be watching us all across the country, but mm -hmm. so in San Diego, a forty-two million dollar fitness facility. That's yeah, just that's yesterday they had a ribbon, ribbon cutting. Yeah, it was a six-year project, six years in the making. Forty-two million dollars, Olympic size swimming pool, state-of-the-art facility, brand new equipment inside. And are you the are you the, one of the trainers there? I am. How do you get that gig? That's you know, yes. You know, I just kind of I I, I just ask. Two day pass. Ask and you in. shall receive. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just right, contact we'll I contact the right people and I say, hey, listen, this is my experience. This is my mission. This is what I like to do. Can yeah. I can I have an opportunity? Yeah. And usually they go, well, yeah. yeah. So yeah. listen, real quickly, because one of the reasons we have you in here for is uh, is because of your internet marketing and uh, and of course teenagerfitness.com. Uh, you know, he's a fitness trainer for the military, but your business mm -hmm. is a virtual business. That's right. Talk about it. Hmm. So I started teamajor.com as a means to uh, promote my online digital program. So I sell information. So I create programs based on working out, whether it's body weight training or it's weight training. My largest program right now, my bread and butter, is my BW44 program. It's body weight 44. That's right. And it was designed to help people get to this level of fitness here. Wow. And, and, and of course, <coughs> our, for our radio audience, if you go to team 
Tmajor.com. <laughs> right. Tmajor.com. Happy. Right. Yeah. So if you Google search 44 best bodyweight exercises ever, yeah. a YouTube video with uh, about 11 million views will pull up, and it's me doing 44 of the hardest bodyweight exercises you'll ever see. When you say bodyweight, you mean there's no weights here. No weights. You don't have any. You're not you swinging. Are the, you're not yeah. swinging iron. That's right. You're you using are the your, weight. You're using your own body weight as the yeah. resistance to right. get into like shape. Like a push up. They mm-hmm. say that's one of the best exercises you can do for yourself. Absolutely. Really? A it it yeah. incorporates so many I different muscles. Up. How many push-ups can you do? And then planking. Or oh, planking, yeah. absolutely. Not wanking. That's absolutely. a different <laughs> exercise. <laughs> It'll make you go blind, so knock it off, kids. Mm-hmm. Anyway, cool. planking. Uh, <laughs> right. And that's, you know, I saw a story on, what is that called? CrossFit. CrossFit. Is that, and is that during, a bad thing? I heard CrossFit yeah. is, a, is an injury. Co- now, listen, listen. It's a weird I'm, I'm not going to say, because I know seal fit is a really good thing. Yeah. But CrossFit, I, I hear, has gone through some gyrations where it was really injury prone. Then they then they kind of figured it out. Is yeah, that CrossFit is a uh, chiropractor's dream when it got popular. <laughs> wow. Uh. The the issue with CrossFit is CrossFit as a system is really good because right. it's a it's, they didn't create anything else. They just branded it and packaged it the right way. Right. right? right. They took. Various. They took Olympic lifting. They took gymnastics. Yeah. Right. They took these things and they put them into a system that other people can follow. Okay. And they got people excited about getting back into shape and being a part of a group and part of a team. Yeah, like this throw, is positive. I see. Uh, I saw a little film clip. About, you know, you throw a medicine ball somewhere and then you jump on a box. And yeah, you, you exactly. So it's plyometrics. It's gymnastics. You've done more movement right now than you have in about six months. I broke a freaking sweat. Right, yeah, right there. there. All right, listen, T, stay right there because we're going to talk about uh, about this online business and, and and how he made it successful and how it can apply. To other online businesses, because uh, because uh, uh, of course Facebook is an online business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think about uh, Google as being an online business. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's guys making money online. T Major making money online in his online business. His name is T Major. Fitness entrepreneur. T Major dot com is his website. We'll talk a little bit more of that in the BW forty four program, Rusty. How many push-ups you can do between now and we talk to teammates? My yeah. body weight's a little mm. higher than 44. Somebody get this guy some water first. Yeah, really? <laughs> Please. Big <Biz> show. <laughs> and a deep fit. <laughs> Team Major's here. Team Major Fitness. <laughs> he does those Team Major. Not just only just is he this. a fitness guru, he's an internet marketing genius here. That's the best part. So talk to us about the internet side of this thing, because that's that's the most interesting part of this thing. So you put a bunch of videos online. You said, I've got these cool... Th- you started out with this as idea mm-hmm. and a website. Yeah. How did you get your first person to click on and buy that? How did you, did you advertise somewhere on the online? Or? No, actually, you know what? Uh, YouTube drives at this point fifty percent of my traffic towards okay. my online store. <clears throat> but so when, this but was when you huge. first started, though, how did that work out? When I, when I first started, I had two separate websites. Okay. I had already my my existing website, tmajor.com, which mm-hmm. is a blog. Okay. And I didn't have the functionality to be an e-commerce platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to branch into selling digital programs. Yeah. So I went to a company called Shopify, which is now one of the largest e-commerce platforms out oh, there. Wow. They're actually right. going public here pretty soon. Right. Um, <clears throat> and I built an online store and really focused on creating the branding and, and, and the functionality and the look and feel right. of the site right. to be kind of yeah. congruent. And um, yeah, then you know what? The, I, I put up a free program just to see if it worked, and by bam. accident, bam! Somebody went in and purchased it and it delivered it to them, and ooh, I was up and running. I so the I so the first, first so so then now now do you how do you handle your internet marketing? Is it is it word of mouth now, or is it is it is there an active advertising campaign going on online for you? No, it's all word of mouth, and it's through social media. That's what I really focus on. Uh-huh. So Facebook and YouTube deli- drive most of the traffic to my online well, store. Well, that's a pretty good endorsement. Well, you got some guy just going. You yeah. know, stand there and you're like, God, do you work out? Yes, I do. I go to work. I work out at this website. Well, what? I'm going right. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the, the proof hope. is in the pudding, so to speak. So you, that's so it. you, that's so you have not had to spend advertising dollars on this. Zero. That's at this point. Oh. Zero. That's amazing. That, 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 that's the best part about it. Yeah. Talk to us about uh, um, uh, Facebook. I know Facebook changed an algorithm again. When Facebook changes their algorithm, and this is what kills me about Facebook. Mm-hmm. It's free. So how can you possibly complain about it? Right. right, people complain about Facebook all the time, but here's the deal: it is a yeah. free service. You don't pay a nickel for it. Advertisers, on the other hand, mm-hmm. uh, it's their business model. Advertisers do have to pay. And they, right, and this advertisers have a right thing. to have a right to come in. What's going on with Facebook? Yeah, so that was the greatest thing about it, right? You have you know h- hundreds of millions of people on Facebook, right. and the ability to reach them was uh, was great because then you can really geo-target. You can uh-huh. focus on your particular audience. So for brands. 
Facebook was very integral in growing their their business and their online marketing, right? So when Facebook changes their algorithm, what that means for the consumer, for us, mm -hmm. when we pop open our Facebook is our news feed, the information that we're consuming, yeah. that changes, mm. right? So people were complaining about, oh, I'm seeing five posts from yeah. Team Major Fitness and right. I don't really like them that much. Right. You know, so uh, how can I change that? Or my friends are commenting on something like Team Major or uh, the grocery store down the street right. post. Hey, we have new products, new new produce in stock. Yeah, right. come come check it out. And yeah. somebody goes, Yeah, I just picked up some kale. This is amazing. Right. And that shows up in your news feed. Right. And you're like, I don't care about what they just bought at the supermarket. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So Facebook changes their algorithm to um, monitor what is supplied to your news feed. Uh -huh, right. So what they did now mm -hmm. is is they changed some of those features, exactly the, the examples I was giving. They changed some of that. So you're not going to see your friends' posts that they comment and like on as frequent. You're not going to see as many posts unless you, don't, unless you don't have a lot of content in your news feed to begin with. Oh, you won't see. see a lot of posts oh, from one particular brand or person. Okay. So for brands, what that means is, is it's that... It's tougher to reach your client. It's very much tougher. Wow. Yeah, you have to actually depend on engaging with yeah. people interesting so you, yeah you so 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 here's the interesting part of that so t major of course is not an internet uh, expert he just is a, he, he is he is a you know he trains military right fitness in uh iraq he trains here on base he's a civilian but he's also created a business called t major fitness uh t major.com and he has turned into Sort of this, uh, you've learned to navigate the waters of internet marketing. Real quickly, in about 30 seconds here, tell me what YouTube's doing. YouTube's got a new deal, real quick? YouTube has a new deal where they uh, previously were using annotations. So they would have, uh, your, you, you had the ability to place uh, well-designed text across a video oh, to I lead see. people yeah. in a particular like direction. A, oh, okay, sure. Right? So, hey, if you, you really like this video, yeah, check right. out my website, sure. right, for example. So what they did now was they placed a small icon in the top right corner, and then when you p the user has the ability to click on this, and it opens up a section called Cards. Uh -huh. So now you have a full-on image displayed where you can advertise for something specific. Oh, wow. Good stuff. Yeah. T, come back. Keep talking wow, to us. Look at that. Keep teaching us about Ow. internet marketing. It's every time we do it, of course, for their American Forces Radio Network audience. Big fans of uh, T Major. T Major.com, the BW44 program. You need, your, next, your next website needs to be the internet marketing program. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah. it.